Good afternoon, Ennis. I'm Father Julian Borda, and as always, it is wonderful to be here with you to discuss the scriptures and to talk to you today once again about the Holy Spirit and who he is and what it, he is doing for us in our lives. Um, in the name of God, our Father, and God the Son, our Savior. So today I want to read to you a passage from the Gospel of John, a short passage, but one that is actually very, um, very informative, very telling about who the Holy Spirit is. So, from John chapter 7, verse 37 through 39. Jesus cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the Spirit, which believers in him were to receive. For as yet the Spirit had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Amen. So this phrase, rivers of living water, sounds a little cryptic to us because we understand water to be something that is not alive. Water gives a lot of life. Water makes our lives possible. Uh, water makes the lives of countless plants and animals and bacteria and every kind of living creature that you can imagine on this earth, almost all of them need water. Um, and yet, the strange thing is water itself is not a living thing. And yet, when Jesus is talking here about the Holy Spirit, when he's starting to describe this spirit to people, he talks about water, and specifically about living water. And we saw the past couple of weeks, you know, the Spirit was over the waters, that even in the beginning, the, the Spirit was this disruptor uh, who was giving life where there was none. And so now we see the extension of that. We see where this leads. And we're reminded um, of a different passage from the Gospel of John in which Jesus talks to the Samaritan woman at a well. And Jesus is thirsty and asks for a drink. And the Samaritan woman says, why are you asking me for a drink? He says, if you knew who was asking, then you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. And what is the difference then between normal water, which has no life, and this living water? Well, Jesus says, Everyone who drinks of this water, of normal water, will be thirsty again. But those who drink of the water that I will give them will never be thirsty. The water that I will give will become in them a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. So this is a really special image. Um, we know of geysers and fountains and what it looks like when water is gushing up, when water is going the opposite direction of the way it normally goes. But we're seeing here um, that there is this water that just does that inside of us, that water, though it's normally settled, it tends to be still, it tends to be without life, that there's this water that we call the Holy Spirit. And in our baptisms, when we are baptized with water, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, then that Holy Spirit enters into us. And that Holy Spirit gushes from us spiritually. And so we're not just given normal water that keeps us slated for a little while keeps us um, living for a little while longer. We're given living, living water, and that living water gives us a spiritual life and a 
spiritual energy that we could not have otherwise. So when we talk about our spiritual lives as Christians, and we talk about uh, our spiritual well-being, all of it has to do with, do we have the Holy Spirit who is gushing forth and who helps us to live as God has designed us to live and to be fed and given to drink in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.